Greetings Earthlings, this is Planet Mitch from GiveawayRocket.com and I am your viral list building success coach. I added viral from last time I did it because before I just did list building success coach. Does that make any difference? Does that any, does it tell anybody anything about what I do? It is Friday, March 1st. Holy cow, how in the hell is it March 1st already? I don't understand where the hell February went, much less January. What about December? This time, you know, the older you get, the faster time goes. Any questions out there? Hey, hopefully you're tuning in. I'm glad to have you here. It is, I said Friday, sorry. Uh, want to talk today about... The new viral uh, list building, uh, that's not the right thing. WIN. WIN is the acronym I've chosen for my program. WIN stands for W-I-N, right? You know how to spell WIN. W is what, which is also who, what, where, when, why, and how. I is for implementation or inspiration. I haven't really decided which one. And N is for nurture. That's the entirety of the program right there. You don't need me anymore. <laughs> Not true. That's the basics, right? Those three things are what you need to do to grow your list to the moon. Now, part of the problem is that nobody understands the process, right? There's a lot of things in that process and what I have done is started, I've been doing it for a while. I don't know, do you know Asana? Have you ever used Asana? Anybody out there using Asana? I tried Trello. Trello is a great visual thing. Visual is good, right? I love visual. Uh, I do all kinds of things visually to try to make things more understandable. But I like Asana better. Now, I started with Asana. They're very similar, and, and Asana now has a Kanban kind of board where you can have the different things and the images and the gravel and move them around and stuff. But I'm still, I'm still more of an Asana guy. Please comment. Let me know you're here. If you're coming in on a replay, hit pound sign replay. And of course, I would love for you to share this with all of the people on your planet, in your sphere of influence, if you want to call it. You know, planet's a sphere, right? Anyway, let me just give you a brief overview of this thing that I am building. And let me check to make sure it's sharing. There it goes. So this is Asana. If you've never seen Asana, I can make the sidebar go away. Uh, if you have any interest in this, let me know. This is not going to be a free thing because I am burying... All kinds of stuff in here from the proposal phase to the planning phase to the prizes to the general questions. Um, I started by setting this up by giving it to uh, clients. And so there's a client aspect to it. You might see the client appears here a couple of times. Um, this is still growing, but I also have samples like the lead page setup. You can, if you click on this with Asana, you get some, you know, additional information about that particular thing. These are all called tasks in Asana. Um, and so I have links to samples, for example, and some description of what those things are. And so what I'm doing is building this incredible master template checklist, whatever you want to call it to be able to offer people so that when they start doing their contest, they can do the planning, they can do the setup, they can do the nurturing on the back end, right? Win, what, implementation, and nurturing. Those are the three things in this process. Um, so my question to you is, do you think that would help you in your contests, would you be able to use something like this to help you build your plan, how to implement your plan, 
and then how to nurture people on the back end. Would that help? Would it not? What would it be worth to you to have something like this that you could reuse over and over and over on every project you ever do? I think it's going to be very worthwhile. I do. Um, currently trying to find a way to offer this for sale, right? And I would love to be able to give this away, but, you know, the mentors of the world, the people that tell you how to run a business say, don't give everything you've got away. I'd like to do a simple version of this and maybe give that away as a lead magnet to get people into understanding the full process and then, of course, paying me the big bucks to be able to have this. There are five people currently reviewing this who are members of the Giveaway Rocket Mothership, which is also a paid... Uh, it's, a, it's a paid place to learn everything there is that's up here in Mitch's head to be able to make your contests skyrocket. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, working on this. Maybe nobody wants it. I don't know. For all of, the, for all of you that are here, please, again, do comment, because when you comment, then that means more people will see this Facebook live feed, and I would love to get feedback from people about whether they think this is something that they were really interested in. And of course, the first answer is, uh, huh? How about this one? Huh? Right? That one. Because it's overwhelming. Most people that go in and buy a tool like Gleam or Up Viral or whatever, you listen to their marketing, and they will tell you, you can create a contest in half an hour. Bingo, bango, up it goes. But there's a lot of steps involved in making that happen. There's planning. You got to do the planning. You got to have the right offer. You got to figure out what the right prizes are. You got to figure out what the right rewards are to get people to share. Those people who don't do planning fail. I can guarantee. Okay, there's one guy that didn't do planning that I know of and he had a very successful contest where he got over 230,000 leads in 10 days ask me how that's possible i dare you to ask me how that's possible how do you get 230,000 leads in 10 days i can tell you i know how he did it and it didn't involve a lot of planning <laughs> which is <laughs> contradictory to what I'm trying to tell you. I dare you. Right over there in the comments box, tell me what you think he did to get 230000 What was his offer? Come on. I dare you. Type it. If you're watching on replay, do pound sign replay. Here's my answer. Because I'm not going to tell you what it is unless people comment. Ooh, threatening, aren't they? Ooh, Mitch is so scary. Anyway, that's what I'm working on today. Um, I am going to implement the 14 modules that I talked about Wednesday, because today is Friday. I thought I was going to get to it yesterday. Um, I ended on a call with Jenna Apgar yesterday, <laughs> uh, which was broadcast live in her network, and I will have a recording of that. She challenged me. We're creating a contest and launching it today. Now, we had done some planning, obviously. We spent a lot of time doing planning, but I have a lot of work to do today to crank that out so that she can run her contest. And we we're doing a case study to find out how well it works. And yesterday on her call, she decided to run a live event in Dallas on March 23rd, which is what? 23 days from now, 22 days from now. So we have to run the contest, plus have a week for the nurture sequence to try to get people to show up for her event, which, of course, she's going to charge money for. So that was fun. That was something that I wasn't planning on doing today, working on that contest. But that's, that's on my agenda first thing this morning, because she wants to launch it and launch it today. 
So I got work to do. If you have any questions or comments, please pipe them in. Pipe them in. What the hell is that? Nobody's commenting. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's giving me likes or loves. So I must be failing today. This must not be very interesting. <laughs> Nobody's here to listen to me, so I'm acting a little goofy today. My family disappeared this morning. It's Friday. They're on a trip to college. All right, so let me know. Please let me know what you think about the spreadsheet, uh, the spreadsheet, the Asana task list. Do you think that's a good idea? Would you be interested in something like that? How much would you be willing to pay? I mean, because they got to make some money on the back end somehow. Um, I know what my price is. I suspect it's higher than what your price is. But you also don't know what the value is that I've put into this thing. And there will be training that goes along with it, of course. And members of the mothership, the founding members, will get this for free. So there's still space if you want to be in, a, in the mothership as a founding member. Let me know. That's it. Nobody's asking any questions. I guess y'all don't care. So I will talk to you again on Monday. And I will watch for questions. If you have to ask questions, I will answer them. Just pop them in the comment box. Thanks. And we will catch you again on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central Time. Unless my kidney stones kick me out of the bucket.